Greetings and salutations, wrestling fans. This is Rope Break. As always, I'm your host, Smart Mark Muse. And I'm Dylan the Barber Beefcake. And this week, we're turning up the heat as we go back in time to SummerSlam 1994. Now, there's only a couple matches I even remember from this card. The f first one being Bret Hart versus Owen Hart in the fucking steel cage. Oh, yeah, and Owen's, like, really pissed at the end. I remember Stealing that Stealing the fucking show. Yeah. You got Neidhart out there. You got British Bulldog at, at, uh, at ringside. Mm -hmm. Family affair. Yeah. That was a really good storyline. Probably the best of the mid-90s, in my opinion, is the Bret Owen, and it just went on for a couple of years. Yeah, went on even. for a while. And it never grew tired. Unlike... The match we'll be watching today, because what's better than one Undertaker? That's, of course, two Undertakers, right? Yes, that is the case. This week, we'll be watching Undertaker versus Undertaker. And, um, there's a lot of story leading up to this match, but, um, we really don't give a shit. The Undertaker! <laughs> and the Reverend Ted DiBiase giving the introduction to, quote-unquote, The Undertaker, a.k.a. Chains, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Brian Lee. A.k.a. fucking knee-highs. You <laughs> see those? Look how oh, silly shit. he looks. Wow, yeah, he's... Doesn't even look like he's wearing, like, the same boot covers. It, yeah. it looks like... A... <laughs> I was about to go really inside. It looks like someone dressing up as The Undertaker for a fucking newspaper contest yes. to win tickets to a WCW event. That's purely speculation. I don't know who you're talking about. I am Dylan the Barber Beefcake. Oh, right. Not this Dylan McKinnish. Oh. You seem to have me confused. <laughs> I'm mistaken. I could have swore I remember seeing you wearing uh, oven mitts. <laughs> but um, apparently I am mistaken. See, um, for the sake of this video, we'll be referring to the Undertaker um, on Ted DiBiase's side as either Chains or Brian Lee because otherwise it's just gonna get really confusing and uh, you're in luck that you're hearing our commentary and not the commentary from the actual team because yeah they do just say Undertaker a million times yeah. in the commentary and it just gets really annoying well he certainly takes as long to get to the goddamn ring as the real Undertaker if we didn't know any better He'd have us fooled. Oh! Look at that. DiBiase marking the fuck out. As is the stupid people in the crowd who can't tell that that doesn't look anything like The Undertaker. First of all, his hat doesn't even have a different color brim. You see that? Wait, go, wait, go back. Well, yeah. Alright, we know what he looks like! Go back to The Undertaker! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> now that I'm trying to make There's... a goddamn point. No. No! That point can Zoom rest. in! In peace. Right above the brim, look at that. It's just solid black. Normally it's like gray. I think you're reading too much into the uh, ring attire here, Smart Mark. I I'm just saying it's a dead giveaway. Something I've noticed. A something... dead giveaway. <laughs> I see what you did there. Thank you. Um, something I learned recently is that Brian Lee was told by Vince to um, stay out of the sun. Oh, yeah, for a pale. while. Yeah. yeah, to intentionally look uh, more pale is to be more convincing. But come on, Vince, are you serious? Yeah. Did you expect anyone to buy this? And now here we go. The late William Moody. Uh, making his uh, second rope break appearance. Yes. And oh, and look at this. So we got the druids rolling out the casket. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder, uh, I wonder which future mid-card jobbers are rolling out the casket. Oh, here. God, I'd love to find out. I love the roster of, uh, of the Druids. <laughs> Which is, by the way, this is probably one of the first, uh, appearance of the, of uh, the, uh, Druids. The, um, they haven't really shown up much until his, uh, disappearance at, um, Survivor Series 93, I want to say? Either it was either it was Survivor Series '93 or the Royal Rumble. I don't I remember. I think it's the Royal Rumble because I remember seeing that video like they did. I might be getting my 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 video packages mixed up, mm. but I remember it was that one where it's the Undertaker inside of the casket and yeah. he was buried alive. Yeah, which I'm sure blew people's minds back then. Yeah, when he levitated out of the Titan Tron. Mm. Yeah, so Undertaker missed his uh, missed his WrestleMania appearance this year. 
Um, I think the only non-consecutive uh, one, one he had missed up until this point, I think he had hit every one. Mm -hmm. Missing this one because of his, um... I'm not exactly sure the real reason why he was away. I, I think it was just to spend more time with his family, honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, being, uh, the, uh, losing the casket match against, uh, Yokozuna. Mm -hmm. And the locker room, all the heels in the locker room just emptied out. To uh, to seal the casket, and it, uh... is that Jack Swagger in that coffin? All that smoke billowing out of there. Ah, oh, I see. I see what you did there. Okay, so it's instead, just a, it's just a giant urn, much bigger than the one we've seen prior. Whoa, that's a big urn. Is the Undertaker in there? Is he like? Is that his gimmick now? He's a genie. <laughs> the urn. He's this comes out. Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da ba. Hey, Paul, hey, I see you. Uh, I see you brought the urn. So, uh, <laughs> I, see, I see you brought the urn. Now I gotta do a Clint Eastwood impression. How many did I shoot? Five or six. <laughs> oh, now I gotta do a Rodney Dangerfield impression. Despite the fact that we're in the desert and it's like the fucking 1600s. Oh, so. Side note: Did you ever hear the um the post-apocalyptic uh, uh theory that that's what Aladdin is? It's like a post-apocalyptic world, and uh, the only um civilization to survive was the Middle East. And that's why there's uh, all these pop culture references from the 90s and prior. Oh, is that it? Oh, man. That's why the urn is so big. To do the creepy, um... Light stuff. I'm the leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> Was that all this? Whoa. Oh, look at DiBiase is freaking out because uh, a, a fucking floodlight is inside <laughs> of an urn. I, too... Reverend DiBiase, am impressed with the wiring job, because that's a very bright light. It is a very bright light, and somehow the Undertaker's power has control over the production truck. I certainly hope no one in the front row has a Mogwai, because he's not going to like that bright light. No, most certainly won't. Don't get him wet, either. Yeah, I just heard, I just heard a thunderclap in the arena. Yes! Well, if you were in the front row, you'd also be in the splash zone. If this was, uh, if this was, this was SeaWorld, so you would be getting wet. Here he is! The real deal. The real McCoy. The other idiom for genuine. What if it, too, was an imitator, and then Brother Love came out, and he was like, I've got the real! <laughs> and it was a triple threat match. Oh, Jesus. It One of them would just Skull, be... Skull, Eight Ball, and Undertaker. Or, like, it would just, or the other one would just be fucking... Kane. Oh, uh, yeah. Fake Undertaker. Up until this point, uh, Glenn Jacobs hasn't had a uh, WWE run. No, nope, he's, he's probably still in, in, uh, uh, in Memphis as the Christmas creature. Ah, uh, poor guy. Uh, Before getting beat up by the Wyatt family. Yeah. He had some much darker days. <clears throat> For tombstoning a priest. Alright, we're getting way off topic here, Smart Mark. We gotta we're call this action. Kane, Look Kane at that doesn't hand. exist yet. <laughs> that hand reaching into the shot, making me mark the fuck out. What's really bad about this intro is that it's so dark that if they're not showing the Undertaker, you don't know what they're filming. Yeah, like, all right, what am I looking at okay, right well, now? I guess you're like, I guess that's Paul Bearer. Like, uh, I light. guess. Yeah. Like his man. his his uh, what is it? his Rubenesque shape <laughs> being shown in the little bit of light. Portly Paul Bearer. <laughs> that classic Brandishing shot. The light. Is he gonna raise his arms uh, fast or uh, or slow? So uh, what slow. do you think? Oh! oh! Throwing us a curveball, Smart Mark. Mm-hmm. I knew better. Brian Lee, you don't know what the fuck to do. You know what the fuck to do. Earl Ebner, you don't know what the fuck to do. Tim DiBiase obscured by Brian Lee. You couldn't get a better angle of that. You don't know what the fuck to do. Thank you. You don't know what the fuck to do. Camera guy obviously doesn't know what the fuck to do. Here's what I want to point out. Here's. <laughs> Did I do that? Yes. Oh. I like to point out that... Even though it's clear... Wait, what's happening? Wait, they're they... trying to mirror each other's moves. Even though it's clear that that is not The Undertaker in all black, they still had to make it a point. See? Different colored uh, line oh, there. Yeah. They had to make it a point to give Undertaker different ring attire, which stood with him for a while. The uh, the purple stuck with him for yeah. years. Yeah, he actually... That was when he like, seemed to get a bigger push. Yeah, it was with the, uh, with the purple... Um, as if this is like a mirror match in a video game. The uh, the two people need to have different color oh, yeah, so outfits can... so we can tell who's who. Yeah. I'm guessing that uh, Brian Lee is player two. Yeah. 
some uh, some video games didn't offer you that, uh, mm -hmm. and you were just confused as fuck. Not in this case. They could be wearing the exact same thing, and we'd be able to tell who's who. Yeah, the tattoos are for one. Yeah, yeah. Um, the clear. The, pfft, the face. God, it looks awful. The cl the clear height advantage yeah. the real Undertaker has. Mm -hmm. You can only film from afar so long. They yeah, are, they're gonna they're have to lock up. Yeah, they're eventually gonna have to get close to each other. How long have have they taken to get to the goddamn ring? This is like as long as a normal episode of Road Break, and the fucking bell just sounded. We're probably gonna go to a commercial here soon. <laughs> the match hasn't even started. And here we go. Are we gonna have a stare down? You know we are. A real stare down. He's having to stare hey, down. Not that big of a height advantage, but it's enough to be noticeable. Yeah, it's enough to notice. All right, who's gonna throw the first punch here? Oh! Whoa. And already we know what's up. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Why did he sell that punch like he really had to pee? Uh, sending Brian Lee off the ropes, ducks the clothesline. Oh, shoulder block, no effect on me and Mark Calloway. You gotta try harder than that, James. God, sh Oh! James no one knowing who to so throw. so fucking sloppy and shaky. And, uh, Ugh. reversal of the Irish whip. Undertaker dropping down. A leapfrog from oh. the Undertaker. Oh, big boot! And, a uh, really dizzy cell. Is his face painted white? I don't know. Oh, look at that guy, losing his shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! I got a backwards head, you piece of shit! It's 94, and this look will be cool for about another three years, you fuck! And uh-oh, look at this, Brian Lee going after Paul Bearer. And, uh, not, uh, okay, you gonna do anything about this, Hebner? Jesus. Get Are you gonna do anything about this, Paul? God, get the match under control, you sack of shit. Reach out and grab his hair already. I don't uh wanna give anything away, but we just know what's happening. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> look at him. Whoa, look at him jump on the ring apron. To sell he looks that like a cat who just got scruffed when you picked him up by his scalp like that. <laughs> he just went and went ragdoll. What if he just fell on Paul when he punched him and he was like, oh, shit, sorry, Paul. Oh, look at this, we're gonna have a suplex bringing him in the hard way. Whoa! Uh, whoa! Was that a fisherman buster? Was I don't think it was supposed to be. I think he hooked Brian Lee's legs, because if he didn't, then the spot would have ended disastrously. Hmm. I don't think we've ever seen Undertaker do that again, or since. Uh, it looked good, though. Yeah. Probably just trying to save that kid from breaking his neck, and, uh... Now, whoa! Big... Back to the outside, why? And, uh... Boy, the crowd just this, losing their shit here. As soon as they did the fucking stare down and you can tell who's who, the crowd immediately lost interest. And uh, but seriously, like, are we just supposed to? How many more times have they done matches like this? I have. I think they did a Kane versus Kane. I don't know. Angle. I hope. Uh, they when you try to figure out who the real Kane was, they don't do these often. Luckily, because these are just dog shit. The exact same spot. Why did you fuck up that whole sequence that you needed to do it again? And oh, oh, that, oh. nice neckbreaker by Chains. Hanging him up on the top rope. Now you need to move in on the man. Come on. Slow and methodical doesn't work against the Undertaker. You can't fight fire with fire. That doesn't work. And okay, you forget who's who's supposed to be selling right now, Brian Lee Jesus. And uh, oh, look at this. Going, oh, he's going for old school! He's going for... doesn't have a name here, but he's... I, I don't know if he's gonna... Ah, uh, yeah, he... No, yeah, no. Yeah. Not, not my yard, boy. <laughs> I'm an American badass. <laughs> he's going on me, do big Oh, mustache. what do you think's gonna happen now? Is he gonna Gee. sit up and it's gonna look bad? Whoa! Yeah, that didn't look bad, Look at the crowd pop. Boy, all yeah. on their feet. <laughs> God damn, this They is can't just... tell who the real Undertaker is. They're still scratching their heads. Mm. These I know I am. These marks are fooled. Oh, and great. Now we're just going to have to watch every match, every move done twice. Pretty First much. First done wrong, and then the Undertaker is going to show us how it's really done. Really milking this. No! And, you know, wow, that, man, it... I don't want to, I don't want to tell Chains what to do here. But as soon as the illusion that you're not the Undertaker, you know, once everybody knows, mm. um... Quit mirroring his fucking move set. Just work faster. <laughs> you know, like th right now we're. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, Smart Mark, but that stun gun attempt looked like shit. What we're watching right now is one guy trying to fight a Pokemon against 
a like type Pokemon. <laughs> that doesn't work, does it? I'm not the Pokemon expert. No. If you have a fire type versus a fire type, that ain't gonna work. No. Change up your move set. Yeah, you, you're a grass type. You need to. Yeah. Oh! Thank you. Wouldn't they both be ghost types? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Ah. Yes, I think if you, uh, I think if you use the right stone on Brian Lee, he evolves into Haunter. Oh! <laughs> uh oh! Here we go. Going for a big oh! clothesline. Oh! Sends him sailing to the floor with a devastating mech body drop. Sends him kind of throwing himself over the ropes. <laughs> trying to make it look somewhat believable. Oh, Why is it still happening? Shoulder to the ring post. And there you have it, folks. Match is done. Yep. Ring post spot. And we have checked out. And we have checked out. Vlad certainly hasn't, though. Have you seen him? Yes. Vlad's marking the fuck he, of out. Of course he's marking the fuck out. Because he... That's just what he does. That's what he does! Vlad's out there with his fucking WWF, his number one shirt, whatever the hell he's wearing this week. Or, yeah, or he's, or he's gonna have the WWF. The... Yeah, I don't know if he's there with his two friends, though. No, he but might he's, he's there definitely there, though. Oh, yes. Vlad is there with bells on. And, uh... Back to the action at hand, folks. We got uh, Brian Lee doing the same exchange that we saw at the beginning of the match. Yeah, but uh, uh, but now it's different because the Undertaker's. Uh, I guess he's uh, um, hurt. Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, that guy really giving Ted DiBiase a piece of his mind. He's giving him what for? Yes, and. What the hell are these kids do? Actually, no. They have the right idea. They fucking went to the stands during the shit match. <laughs> and, Whoa. Uh, what is he doing? Showing emotion that is not like the Undertaker, Chains. You, you've gone ahead and Whoa. killed Kayfabe. God, he hit the ropes oh. horribly. And... Whoa! Wow! Chokeslam. That looked pretty that good. That looked really good, yeah. And, That's uh, a lot, got a lot of uh, power behind that. Is he going to go for the classic pin? Just, I mean, just, no. just take your time, James. What, what are you doing? Yeah, you oh. fucking said it, Vince. He was daring him to get. Oh, thank you. Uh oh, chin lock, perhaps. No. Did they not rehearse this? He just didn't know when it was getting. Oh, what, what's happening? Oh, he's going for the tombstone. And look out! Not there. You go. Let him get his arm, dude. Uh. Oh, 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 Jesus! Oh. Jesus Christ, James. Yeah. Yeah, kill him. <laughs> yeah. Hope he gets a stinger. <laughs> Look at that guy losing his shit. Yeah. Yeah. Tombstone him again, Chang. Chains. And Ch oh! oh no no no! The power of the urn compelling the Undertaker prevails again. Oh thank God! This, this spot, again. God damn it! Let him. Oh. Get, there you go. Get his fucking arm free, stupid. There we go. Hey, now show him how it's done, Mark. Yes, please. God, you ought to just sit it out, owing his ass. Oh, oh God nice. damn! Fucking spiked it. Oh, that was great. I've never seen him do it like that. DiBiase. He's neither has DiBiase. Neither is that guy. It's like what the fuck. Woo! Undertaker with a that's incredible <laughs> on chains. <laughs> and Holy he's shit. not letting him get away with that. He has more in store for this doppelganger. And look at that. Not letting him untuck his arm either. He's like, let me show you how it's done, kid. I'm gonna botch your shit too. Oh! And, uh, Please is let this it? Be. Let it be it. I mean, Christ, we've already seen four tombstones already. You're, uh, we get it. You don't want to put the finisher over. This is like fucking modern day. They're going to go through 18 attitude adjustments and 18 rock bottoms. Yeah, no shit. The oh my god, he's going for... Uh, One right. more time, Undertaker! That guy agrees. Yeah, let's and, see uh, and uh, again, just tuck in the arm, fuck it, whatever. Okay. And another look, tombstone. Look, you see the whole crowd, they're like, Ugh. Is this it? Can we just get on to the main event? One, the it is? two, slow count, three. Yay, the match is over! And what does this mean? Exactly. The hey, oh, he he is the WWF. Friends. Nice, thank you, Vlad. Best part of the match, seeing Vlad. Wow, it's really sad when, um... <laughs> I'm, I, we, we were talking over it, but, um, fucking, um, the Fink's announcement of the winner sounded so loud.
compared to the non-crowd cheering. Like, no one gave a shit. Yeah, the druids are back. Yeah, the druids are back. Because they're gonna roll, uh, My the other... druids are back! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Oh. Botch! Oh, you botched the lyrics! Uh, what's happening? Oh, okay. They're rolling the under, uh, faker, if I dare say, uh, yes. into the tombstone. And the, the light in the urn doesn't work when the lights are on. Paul. Well, it works, but it doesn't work for, for spooky imagery. Yeah, no, you might as well just leave the, uh, leave the lid on. So what exactly does this mean? Hey! That, um, under the... Chains is gone for a couple of years anyway, uh, and uh, that the Undertaker is uh, is back. That's essentially yep. It. He's back, and he's got a bright light in his fucking face. Yep, exactly what he wanted. So like, yeah, I'll come back only if I can have a really bright light shine on my face as often as possible. And did uh, did the WWF really? I don't know. Miss the Undertaker while he was gone? Like, it, like I, I mean, maybe I don't know because maybe I wasn't watching it at the time, per se, although it was actually. Um, maybe I'm just looking at how it is now, where The Undertaker can leave for a year, and, and I don't necessarily cares. miss him. Yeah, it's like, oh, that was the main event. God damn. That ended the pay-per-view. You, you couldn't fucking give it to Brett and Owen. You, you couldn't. Nope. You just fucking couldn't. Because. Either you're giving it away on free TV, or it's opening a pay-per-view, like fucking WrestleMania, or... It's got to play second fiddle to a goddamn doppelganger match. But Mark, The Undertaker is a larger-than-life character. Mm. Brett and Owen are just good technical wrestlers mm. who can have an 18-minute match and it not get boring. Ah, ha, ha. Ah. When you put it to me like that, Vince, yes. uh, I gotta buy into it. Yeah.